9.3 for queuing algorithms. This is the part two of chapter nine of module module nine of uh, Cisco curriculum. The previous ta topic covered traffic uh, characteristics, and this topic will explain the queuing algorithms used to implement QoS or the quality of service. The QoS policy implemented by the network administrator becomes active when congestion occurs in the link. Queuing is a congestion management tool that can buffer, prioritize, and if required, reorder packets before being transmitted to the destination. A number of queuing algorithms are available in this course, we'll be focusing, or we will focus on the following algorithms. The first one is the first in, first out, or FIFO. Weighted fair queuing, or the WFQ. Class-based weighted fair queuing, or CBWFQ. Low latency que queuing or LLQ. The first in and first out. In its uh, simplest form, first, e first in, first out, or FIFO queuing, this is also known as first come, first serve queuing, buffers and forward packets in the order of their ar arrival. FIFO has no concept of priority or classes of traffic and consequently makes no decision about packet priority. There is only one queue and all packets are treated equally. Packets are sent out an interface in the order in which they, are, they arrive, as you can see in the figure. Although some traffic may be more important or time sensitive um, based on the priority class classification, notice that the traffic is sent out in the order it is received. As you can see, the original color from the ingress interface is the same arrangement of color in the egress interface. That means there is no priority of uh, transmission. When FIFO is used, Important or time-based time -based, uh, or time-sensitive traffic can be dropped Drop when there is congestions on the, congestion on the router or switch interface. When no other queuing strategies are configured, all interfaces except serial interfaces at e E1 or 2.048 Mbps and below, use FIPO by default. The serial interface of E1 and below use WFQ by default. So if the technology is E1 having 2.048 Mbps, by default, the algorithm, algorithm use is WFQ or the weighted weighted uh, or WFQ by default. Weighted uh, fair, weighted fair queuing. Uh, FIPO, which is the fastest uh, method of queuing, is effective for large link, for large link. Uh, for large link that have little delay and minimal, minimal congestion. If your link has very little congestions or congestion, FIFO 
queuing may be the only queuing you need to use. The weighted, the weighted fair queuing or WFQ is an automated scheduling methods that uh, provides fair bandwidth allocation to all network traffic. WFQ does not allow uh, classification options to be configured and uh, WFQ applies priority or weights to identify traffic and uh, classifies it into conversations or flows as you can see in the figure. The WFQ then determines how much bandwidth each flow is allowed relative to other flows. The flow-based algorithms used by WFQ simultaneously schedules interactive uh, traffic to the front of a queue to reduce the response time. It then fairly shares the remaining bandwidth among the or among high bandwidth flows. WFQs allows you to give a low volume interactive traffic such as telnet session and voice. Priority over high volume traffic such as FTP sessions. When multiple file transfer flows are occurring or occurring simultaneously, the transfer are given comparable bandwidth. WFQ classifies traffic into different flows based on packet headers addressing, including uh, such characteristics as source and uh, destination IP addresses, MAC addresses, port numbers, protocols, and type of services, or type of service value. The TOS or type of service value in the IP header can be used to classify the traffic. Low bandwidth traffic flows, which comprise the majority of traffic, receive a pre preferential service which allows their inter-offered loads to be sent in a timely fashion. High volume traffic flows share the remaining capacity proportional among themselves. Now the limitations. The limitations of the WQ is not supported with uh, tunneling and encryption because these features modify the packet content information required by WFQ for classification. Although WFQ automatically adapts to changing network traffic conditions, it does not offer the degree of precise control over bandwidth allocations that CBWFQ offers or the class-based weighted fair queuing. The class-based weighted fair queuing or CBWFQ extends the standard weighted uh, fair queuing functionality to provide support for user-defined traffic classes. With CB, CBWFQ, you define traffic classes based on match uh, criteria including protocols, access control list, and input interfaces. Packets satisfying the match criteria for a class constitute the traffic for that class. A first-in, first-out or FIFO queue is reserved for each class, and traffic belonging to a class is directed to the queue for that class. As you can see in the figure, in the figure, when a class has, has been defined according to each match criteria, you can assign it characteristics. Uh, to characterize a class, you assign its bandwidth, weight, and maximum packet limit. The bandwidth assigned to a class is the guaranteed bandwidth delivered to the class during congestions. To characterize the 
to characterize a class, you also specify the queue limit for that class, which is the maximum number of packets allowed to accumulate in the queue for the class. Packets belonging to a class are subject to the bandwidth and queue limits that characterize the class. For example, uh, in this example, as you can see in the figure, after a queue has reached its configured queue limit, adding more packets to the class causes tail drop or packets drop to take effect depending on, on how class policy is configured. Tail drop means a router simply discards any packets that arrives at, at the tail end of the queue that has completely used up its packet uh, holding. And uh, this is, that is the, re the default queuing response to congestion. Tail drops treats all traffic equally and does not differentiate between classes of service. Next up, next is the low latency queuing. The low la la latency queuing features brings strict priority queuing or PQ to CVW. FQ or the class based weighted fair queuing. Strict PQ allows delay sensitive packets such as video, uh, such as voice, to be sent before packets in other queues. LLQ provides uh, strict priority queuing for CBWFQ, reducing jitter in voice conversation, as you can see in the figure priority is given to uh, the voice. So without LLQ, CBWQ provides WFQ based on defined classes with no strict priority queue available for real-time traffic. The weight for a packet belonging to a specific class is derived from the bandwidth you assign to the class when you configured it. Therefore, the bandwidth assigned to the packets of a class determined the, the order in which packets are sent. All packets are serviced fairly based on weight. No class of packets may be granted strict priority. This scheme poses problems for voice traffic that is largely intolerant of delay, especially variation in delay. For voice traffic, variations in delay introduce irregularities of transmission manifesting in jit as jitter in the heard conversation. Hence, the uh, LLQ allows delay-sensitive packets such as voice to be sent first before packets in the other queues, giving delay-sensitive packets preferential treatment over other traffic. Although it is possible to classify uh, various types of real-time traffic to strict priority queue, uh, Cisco recommends that only voice traffic be direct directed to the priority queue. Okay, so for the next video, we're going to discuss the quality of service models.